Hey, this is Will from Loops and Worship, and I just want to take a second to show you how to work with songs in 6.8, how to work with the 6.8 time signature in general in Ableton Live. get a lot of questions from people. A lot of people are frustrated trying to sync up songs that they know are in 6.8, um, dragging them and syncing them up to Live's click, and it's not working. Or people that are trying to take a tempo that's in 6.8, maybe from a chart, um, or they know this song's at 140 BPM 6.8, plug it in, when they play it, it just sounds way too fast. Things just don't sound right. Things don't seem like they're working right. So what I'm gonna do is show you the problem and show you kind of explain what's happening and then actually show you how to fix it and solve it when working with live. So the first thing is I'm just gonna pick a random tempo in 6.8. I've got my click turned on, uh, got my time signature set to 6.8, and uh, I've got a MIDI controller uh, that's mapped to the tap tempo here. So basically what this means is I can tap six eighth notes. Um, there's six eighth notes and six eight and a measure of six eight. And at the end of tapping those eighth notes in, live's gonna play the click at me uh, for me at the tempo I just tapped. So what I'm gonna do is actually count out loud, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever tempo I decide on. And then that next measure around tap. And then by the third measure, live's click will be in. So let's see what we come up with. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay? Maybe you caught that. If not, let me hop over into arrangement view. What I want you to uh, pay, pay specific attention to is when I say four, which is halfway through my measure, watch where we kind of are here on the timeline. Okay? So let me play this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, four, one, four, one, four. Did you catch that? So what's happening is live has essentially doubled our tempo. So even though I'm counting one and four, live is actually starting a new measure there. So what happens is as I count those eighth notes in, live is actually doubling my tempo. So if I was to take uh, 182 um, and 68 and plug it into any other metronome and just have my eighth notes up, counting those eighth notes, then things are going to sound right. They're going to be fine. You know, I can take this, put it on a chart, 182 BPM, 68, things are good. Um, but what actually is is kind of happening here again let me try it one more time watch where one four is falling one four one four so live is actually adding extra measures to this so this can get a little tricky if you're using this in a full band situation and let's say um your band leader worship leader says hey let's start on measure four and you start on measure four here um it's actually not going to be measure four uh, with the rest of the band, with the way the chart's working, because live is kind of adding extra measures here. So the easiest fix around this is we're just going to use 6-4, okay? So let me show you uh, the difference here. If I plug in 6-4 now, and you can kind of see how our timeline and our grid changes there from 6-8, watch designer 6-4, okay? And I'm going to tap my tempo again, and watch where 1 and 4 falls this time, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, three, four. Okay, you see one, four. One and four are falling in the right place. We have the right, around a a right amount of measures and everything is working properly. So don't let this freak you out. If you are doing songs uh, in a six, four time signature, excuse me, six, eight time signature in Ableton Live, just go to six, four, do everything in 6-4, use your quarter note kind of as your pulse instead of your eighth note here, and everything's going to be fine. Uh, don't, you know, don't think through it too much. Uh, everything will work fine. So if I have a tempo that's 120 BPM and it's in 6-8 and I press play, that's going to give me that proper tempo, okay? If I was to play this at 6-8 now instead of 6-4, you can see my measures are doubled here uh, and it's going to sound faster than it should, right? So when you're working with something in 6.8, um, just dump your tempo to 6.4 and you will be good to go. Cool. So if you guys have any questions with that, feel free to shoot me an email as always, will at loopsandworship.com. If you're enjoying these videos, I'd love for you to subscribe to them on YouTube. Uh, make sure you check out our site whenever you get a chance, loopsandworship.com. Again, hope you guys have a great day and thanks so much for watching. Take care.